Mike and Nike here. Welcome to my second ever room tour. If you'd like to see the first one, you can check out that card right here. My room has changed so much since that video, so if you'd like to see how much it's changed, then go ahead and check out that video. First off, I'd like to say thank you so much for 500 subscribers. You guys really mean the world to me, and this is kind of your reward for getting me here. So thank you so much again. Let's get right into it. Let's start with what most people would think is the highlight of my room, and that is these two shelves right here. It has a light strip running along the top of both of them, and it makes a really nice backdrop. And also the other light I have right here is just a Stormtrooper light, and it looks pretty good. It has most of the matching colors with uh, this light because this one can actually um, do many colors. So starting with the top, obviously this is the 600 subscriber milestone that we're trying to hit, so if you haven't subscribed already, I'd really appreciate it if you do. And uh, it looks really nice on top of here, so that's why I put it here. And then we have like Jay and his lightning jet thing. And down here we have a bunch of Clone Wars stuff on this shelf. Then we have the some Solo stuff along this shelf, as well as this right here. Resistance stuff on this shelf, as well as <laughs> this little backdrop here that I didn't really know where to put it from the Lego Movie set. And down here we have Empire and First Order, all battle packs and ATSTs and stuff like that. It's really cool. And then moving on to over here, this shelf starting at the bottom, we have a bunch of random stuff around here, not just from Star Wars. I do collect Ninjago a little bit and I'm starting to collect that more now. Here we have a bunch of micro fighters and kind of like micro fighters like this came in a battle pack but it kind of looks like a micro fighter and then up here we have um, a bunch of separatist stuff up here we have some star fighters and up here we have a lot of interesting things so here's a little pan of what we've got right here we have uh, the Imperial convey X transport as well as two things from magazines from anywhere besides America and then right here is like a little mock that I'm going to give you a little sneak peek here, but you can't see very much of it. Maybe I'll make a video on it soon or post it on Instagram. Follow me on Instagram if you aren't already. The link is in the description. And right here we've got a bunch of random stuff like this video. I made that a while ago as well as this. You can find those on my channel. And then up at the top, we've got Darth Vader and this thing I made as a project a little while ago. You have my wife. <laughs> Just kidding. And then we have right here uh, all these 20th anniversary minifigures, mainly Han Solo because I love that battle pack. And then we have Bastion right here. And another highlight of my room is this poster right here that I actually found at the side of the road and my mom suggested that I picked it up and it actually goes nice with my room. So I appreciate you guys uh, giving feedback on this backdrop. Let's move on to the next part of the room. Okay, we're backtracking a little bit. This part doesn't look as professional, but it's cleaner than it usually is. It has a bunch of random stuff that I don't really have a place to put it yet. And then right here, we have another light strip. So maybe I'll put that up sometime. I just haven't found a place for it. We've got some Lego death sticks right here that are in progress. And then down here, we have a large assortment of parts that is very roughly sorted. And uh, as well as some other random stuff right here that is fake Lego and like stuff that I would maybe include in stop motion. On the other side of these shelves, we've got this shelf which is in progress. I'm probably gonna paint it black and then I'm gonna add like this right here on top of it, um, on top of every one of these things right here. And then I will place some minifigures in it. It'll be a nice little minifigure display. And here are some boxes that I just uh, put up here recently while I was reorganizing it. And as you can see, some of them are just labeled, other ones aren't, but they all have parts in them. It's a great way to store Lego parts just in little Kleenex boxes. So that's a little tip for you. And below that, we have my bed stand. Not gonna go through that too much. We have a bunch of Lego classic boxes and there's other boxes inside of it, as well as some more parts. 
And below here, we have a bunch more parts. Yay! In Pickerook cups, as well as some other little containers there. And then back up here, we have my hair <laughs> from when I got it cut off. So that's a little interesting detail for you guys who are OGs. Beside my bed stand is obviously my bed. And it looks beautiful with this quilt on it because my mom made it and I really like the way it looks. It just kind of makes my room pop. Kind of by my bed is Navarro. So this is actually a pretty big mock. I've been making this for a while. If you guys have joined my live streams, this is usually right behind where the camera is. And I have all this set up. If you haven't seen the progress already, here it is. But you can see more of the interior in my Building Navarro series. I have a, my tripod right here in case you're curious what it looks like and then I just have some other parts right here that I might add to the mock eventually but this is a major inconvenience to my room if I want to get to my closet or my studio I have to like duck under here or climb over my bed so it's a major inconvenience but I've learned to live with it because I've done Navarro for a really long time now the finale should be coming soon I just don't know when it's pretty much a meme at this point like Honestly, Navarro is taking so long. On the other side of Navarro is my dresser, and I have a bunch of random stuff on it. And then up here, I have my Minecraft quilt. My mom quilted this for me, put this together, and it's actually very beautiful. And I do have a Peyton Manning poster right here. I used to be a fan of Peyton Manning when he played. I'm gonna take you guys through my everyday life, going down here and uh, opening up this right here so we can access some more Lego. So we've got base plates up here, and we've got Ninjago right here. A bunch of Lego themes. Hero Factory. This is like mainly superheroes, but also Minecraft. New Bionicle. Pretty much medieval. And Lego City and Lego Movie. I also keep my Mando and Baby Yoda t-shirt in here because they're very special to me. Doing some more crawling for the next transition. This shelf actually holds more than you think. On top of here, we've got a bunch of parts right here. We got some minifigures, some more minifigures from a friend, and then we have a bunch of stuff that I might make videos on in the future, but I don't know for sure. And then down here, we have a bunch of sets that I built and I don't really know where to put them and that random thing. And the last shelf has a bunch more things. Here they are. We also have my water bottle right here that I use for live streams. Inside we've got looks like some pictures of Shadow right here. And then on this side we have some more Lego stuff. Some, I don't know, whatever this is. And this, a bunch of books. We've got my, actually, this is my camera that I should be using, but I don't have a computer yet. Hopefully I'll get that soon. And that sits on top of my collection of cards. Right beside this shelf is what I used to film some of my videos. It used to be all of them that were filmed right here, but this is my main kind of studio setup. If you light up this, it might seem more familiar. This is a mock that I've been working on. I might make a video or Instagram post on that. And then right here, here's some random stuff that I've been working on. Right up here, we've got my calendar. It is currently September as I'm recording this. This flashlight, that doesn't work. And we've got a Coke bottle, tribute to MNR Productions there. And then we've got the Steve and his leg actually is able to come off, but that's not intended. If we do a 360, we can see over here, uh, I can't remember this guy's name. He's from my second channel. I don't upload on my second channel very often, but here's some of my stuff. Yay. Here's my microphone, and here's the case for my light strips, and uh, random cereal. I, I was gonna make like something off of that for my second channel. Whatever. Deja vu. I've just been to this place before. Higher on the street, and the noise went to And back here, we have these. I might use these as a backdrop sometime. If you enjoyed this room tour, let me know by hitting that like button. Subscribe for more LEGO videos. And at 600 subscribers, I will be doing my third mock contest. Thank you so much for 500 subscribers. I really appreciate you watching this video. Stay positive and have a great day.